everyone, I'm back. Um, it feels like it's been a long time since I filmed, but I think it's only been like two weeks or three weeks. Um, today I'm doing a what's in my cosmetology kit slash kind of like update video. Uh, I'm really excited to be filming this. I have a bunch of stuff around me, you can probably see some of it. Um, this might be a long video because of all the stuff that I have to show you guys, but um, let's get right into it. So I'm just grabbing things that are by me. Um, this is a mannequin head. This is a man. And it's bald because the, I'm assuming this is a man. I'm not sure. It says men on this bag, but I don't know. Kind of looks like a lady. Anyway, <laughs> the scalps are in this bag. I haven't opened them yet because I haven't had a need to, but they're kind of, you're just holding all this hair. It's just really interesting. Um, so yeah, this is head and scalps. And then another thing that's just right here easy to grab is my textbook. And this is the Milady Standard Cosmetology book. Um, I guess at Aveda, previously they would give you a kind of like an online version of the textbook to put on your iPad, which my iPad's right here. Um, but my class got the actual textbook, which I guess a lot of people were jealous, like the older classmates were jealous because they wanted the actual textbook. because. I guess the online version, you had it for a year and then it was deleted off of your iPad or something on that order. So I'm glad that I got this because then I can, you know, always have it and look back and see stuff if I need to. So here is my brush bag and I'm still trying to like organize everything. There's just so much stuff. Um, and I don't know what's the best way to organize it, but I'm trying. Here's one of the brushes. It has hair on it because I've used it. But there's a lot of brushes, a lot of round brushes. And then I have a lot of my combs in here. And I don't know, like, all the technical names or anything for all these, so... They're just brushes and combs. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm having quite fun time playing with all of these. I haven't used all of my stuff yet, but what I have used is, um, like mostly my hot tools and then brushes and combs, so it's been pretty fun. So another thing right here is this pink box that I actually bought um, separately. I got it at, it's called the Container Store here in Scottsdale. It's amazing. If you live in Scottsdale, I don't know if there's more around Arizona, I'm assuming there is, but there, it's an amazing store and definitely go check it out if you are into organizing like I am. It's so addicting. Um, so more combs in here. I have some Sharpies just because you're supposed to mark everything. And I didn't have any like silver or gold metallic Sharpies that would stand out on these black combs. So now I got that. And then what else? Oh, so I got I got this little green container at the container store as well. 
Um, in here are just some long clips that I've been using quite a bit. And you get a lot of clips because I'm assuming you use them, whatever, they're taken from you. So it's always nice to have more than you need. Um, bobby pins, always helpful. Never have enough. This is a little apron and it has the Aveda logo on it. Haven't used that yet because we haven't gotten into coloring, but that will be within the next week or so, I think. And then at the bottom of this, I have this little makeup palette which I've used once already. So that is all that's in this little pink box. Now we can start looking at more of the stuff that's in my suitcase. I have this big um, suitcase that has rollers that I've been packing to school a couple of times just because I'm not sure like like I said, how to organize everything, so I'm working on it. So, in this pink little zipper bag, there are more boxes of the clips. These are the duck bill. And then more bobby pins. More duck bill clips. And then these hair pins that are kind of like bobby pins but they don't they're not squished together as much i don't know how to describe them they're just like a, a u-shaped i guess and then a box of roller pins as well so this is deborah her name is actually deborah it's down here um we all kind of have a joke about you know, we call her Debbie or Deb, and yeah, it's fun. Anyway, she right now has some um, curls clipped in, like a roller set. Um, this is from last class. We did figure six curls, I believe, and so I didn't take out the clips, so that's why her hair is all like this. It kind of got squished because I just shoved her back in my suitcase, but this is Deborah. And I put, um, I gave her some eyeliner and also a little nose piercing just to make sure that, she, you know, she's customized and I mean, they all look the same, so you want to do something besides just put your name on it to make sure it's not stolen. This is the mannequin head stand. Not very interesting, but very useful. Okay, oh my goodness, the hot tools, like, my favorite thing ever. I don't really curl or straighten my hair or my wigs or whatever. Um, but I just love the idea <laughs> and like doing it to someone else is really fun. So this is a big wand. I'm not sure the size exactly. Um, I threw out all of the boxes that my hot tools were in, so I'm not sure the size, but it's pretty big. I mean, it's bigger than any wand that I've had previously, which is nice. And then there's this, which I'm assuming is like the waiver type. This isn't one of the hot tools, but I'm also really excited to use these. It's the clippers. I've practiced a bit on my brother's hair, clipping it and doing like the whole fade and everything. So I'm so excited to learn how to um, perfect the fade and do even more things with 
um, clippers as well. This little one is for like the edges and like doing little detailed things as well. So, so excited. And then in this, there's um, black carbon clips and then some, let me see those. The wave rods, cold wave rods, which there's two packs of these, but the school supplies more if you need more. And then these are just disposable gloves, not really exciting, but gloves and a diffuser. And then in this side, there's like, I don't know if you can see this. There's these little pockets that you can take off. Um, there's just like elastics in this bottom one, more clips in that one, and then oil and stuff for the clippers. So nothing too exciting, but now we can move on to my hot tools bag and the bag itself is really cute it has the logo on that side and then there's so much storage like you when you look at the bag it looks kind of small and then you start like unzipping and seeing how many little pockets are on it and it's like quite exciting so let's look at this um, another container that I bought, and this one has more clips in it, and so does this one. This one has the duckbill clips, and then this one has the double prong pin curl clips. And then, I've already used this one time. It is the little... I don't know what the name for it is, but it's like the little tex texturizer type one. Like it's super, super tiny. And we had, just this past Friday, we had Fro Friday. So I got to use that on someone and make these cute little tiny curls. Um, this is a just a spray bottle. This isn't the one that came with my kit. Um, but the one that came with my kit, I use every day, just on my own hair. Um, so yeah, always need a good spray bottle. So let's see here. Here is the curling iron that I've been using quite a bit. It's the Hot Tools Marcel, I believe. It has the, yeah, I don't know the name, but <laughs> this thing, you have to move it manually. It doesn't like clamp together like a lot of the other ones that I've used. So um, that was hard to get used to at first, but now I'm just like, I mean, you still have to kind of think about it, but not as much as the first day. I was like what's going on, there's too much to think about, and I have to curl the hair, like, yeah, but you get used to it, um, and this size, I really like this size, it makes nice little defined curls, um, that's what I used for, um, on my mannequin head when I was doing the curls, this is the one that I used, so that is that. Here are the shears. I'm not too sure of the brand. Um, it has this funny little logo. I'm not sure of the name, but they're really nice. They have little um, rubber like cushioning things in the middle. I might take them out just because I have bigger fingers. So I feel like these make it um, smaller, but we'll see. 
I haven't used these yet because we haven't gotten into hair cutting quite yet. And then there are these ones. They're like the texturizing, thinning, I don't know the technical name, but they're really nice as well. And then also in this little thing are the little, I guess they're calling these shears. I don't know what you call shears and what are scissors and whatnot, but yeah, it's kind of scary looking. It's like, what do you do with that? But it'll be fun to use it. Oh, here's the brand. It's on this little like cleaning pad thing. Hattori Hanzo Shears. Hmm. Um, this is my blow dryer. Just a standard blow dryer. Um, it comes with two attachments and then the diffuser that I showed you earlier. Um, I've already used this and it's nice, just your standard blow dryer. And then flat iron I used as well. I love the black and red. I think it's really classic. And I'm not sure of the brand. It's, it has an R on it. But because I don't have a box, I'm not sure. So that is the flat iron. And then... Over on this side, I just have more round brushes and just a regular brush as well. So I think that is it for my like hair stuff. There is the nail kit box, which I love. Um, it's so like sleek and professional looking. And everything in here, including the box, is by OPI, which is really cool because I love OPI. So, let's see. There's a bunch of files. And then tweezers, a cuticle pusher, more nail files. And then there's like a little, it's not really a scrub thing. Let me pull it out. It's kind of the fluffy. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what it's called, the fluffy. Not sure what that's for. Maybe just like cleaning the excess powder from like filing off your nails. I'm not sure, but it's super soft. And then here's a few cloth pads for probably just setting on the table in front of you when you're doing someone's nails. Um, bonding agent. The whole inside of the box is like kind of overwhelming to me. I don't know if you can see that, but there's like so many things that I don't even know what they're for. And I have done like acrylics and stuff and um, there's just so many things. So I'll try to try to tell you what they are. Um, hand guard. Moisture replenishing lotion. And like these, what are these for? Like they're little stick things. Never seen these in my life. For nails, like, so not sure. Rappy dry nail polish dryer. So many of these things I like, just want to start using, which I think I can, but. Nail cleaning solution. 
original polish remover. Here's a nail scrubber brush. Brush cleaner. And it came with these two polishes. Like a red and then a kind of mauvey pink. And here are these little separators. Um, another one of those like square files. And then this is the nail brush for applying acrylic, which I'm so excited to learn. And well, I, I've done it to myself and to someone else before, but it's going to be cool to learn like how to actually do it correctly. Here is a little practicing finger and it comes with little, um, the acrylic nail. There's a couple in there. There's a lot of nails actually, like multiple packs. Like here's a pack of the nails. And then here's another pack. And they're all, they all say something different. Like this is Dimension 2.0. This is Perspective 2.0. Um, structure 2.0. It's really cool, you get quite a bit. Bond Aid pH Balancing Agent, Swiss Blue Liquid Hand Soap, and then here is some Opaque White Acrylic Powder, here is Crystal Clear Acrylic Powder, Sheer Pink Acrylic Powder, Warm Pink. So like I said, there's just a lot of stuff in here, but it's so, it's so cool. I'm excited to get started in nails. Um, here's Simply Natural Acrylic Powder. <laughs> All the names are quite, quite cool. And then there's two of the little bowls. I love these. I had a, a little one at home, but I didn't bring it with me. Um, just a pair of nail clippers, a big pair, and a small pair. Competition Enhanced Color Technology Monomer. No idea, but it's cute and little. These are the free forms for doing acrylics. I've never used these. I've seen them uh, like in YouTube videos and stuff. I've seen people use them, but I haven't used them before. I usually just, when I've done nails on myself, I use the nail extension, whatever you call it, and then just put the acrylic directly on that. I've never actually um, just molding the acrylic on its own. So that would be cool. cool. Exfoliating cuticle treatment. And then there's like these little pads. And then at the bottom that has like a cute little bowl. But I can't get it out right now. So yeah, I think that's it for my nail kit. I'm super excited to use all of that and also all my other stuff that I haven't used as well. Um, for a little update, I just finished my third week 
Second week. Let me see. The days, like, go by so quickly. Yeah, I just finished my third week. So this Wednesday will be the beginning of my fourth week of school. And so far, it's, like, just so much fun. I love the people that I'm with and my teacher and just the whole experience. It's, like... I don't know. All my free time, like before when I was in community college and stuff, my free time was spent watching YouTube videos of makeup and hair and practicing on other people doing their hair and makeup and doing my own hair and makeup. And now that's not just something in my free time anymore. I mean, it still is, but now I go to school for that and I'm you know, taking tests about how to apply makeup and what kind of makeup to apply when and like it's crazy and I totally love this experience and I feel like Aveda itself as a whole really like it feels like a family almost. Um, everyone is they're all striving for the same goals, which is, you know, really helpful when, you know, there's a bunch of people, especially there's a bunch of women and, you know, young adults that want the same thing. I think it's just so cool that we can all be together and help each other strive to become better in our field. And let's see what... What else has been going on at school? Um, we haven't had a practical test yet. That is this Wednesday. And the practical test is going to be just a simple blow dry. And so that will be fun because we got to practice that last week just on our mannequin. And so that will be our first practical test. We've taken five written tests already, which haven't been bad at all. Um, you know, we get to study a lot and we do a study session before the test in class, so the teacher always makes it really easy for us to know the material and then be able to do well on the test, which is really nice. Um, there's 20 people, including me, in my class, and they're all around my age. There's a couple people older, but it's really cool because, you know, when you're going into this kind of a school, you're not sure who you're going to be placed with, and you're going to be with them so much for the whole entire year. So it's cool that a lot of the girls are my age or around my age, and so I'm you know, getting to know them all, and I've already made good friends that I know I will keep for a long time. And let's see what else. There's just so much that happens, like, it's hard to say what's going on because I feel like, like, today's obviously one of my off days, um, but I feel like I should be there and learning more and. Um, you know, just being in the environment. I love being in the environment. I think that's the biggest thing. Um, and that's good because, you know, going to school, you usually are like dreading it. You don't want to wake up in the morning. You have to drive. Then you get there and you're like, oh, we have to learn this or oh, we have to take a test. But now it's like, I want to be there. I want to learn more and every day is a new day to experience something different. Um, this first phase, there's, I'm not sure, if, like five or six phases I think. Um, this first phase is nine weeks and it's a lot of classroom work. The next phase, um, you get to be out on the floor and start working with guests, 
so I am super excited for that because you know <laughs> being in the classroom is like kind of difficult some days um, I'm at school from I get there around 8 and then the class officially starts at 8.30 and then I'm there until 5.30. So it's a long day and if you're in the classroom all day it makes it seem even longer but again when you're learning things like makeup, hair, um, how to treat a guest, how to do a hand ritual or a shoulder and neck ritual. It makes it not seem like it's a grueling day, but it's definitely, you know, you're there for a long time. So I feel like the next phase will be a little bit easier in terms of you're out of the classroom, you're doing more hands-on learning, and you're getting to work with people. Which, you know, I'm not a people person at all. Like, being by myself makes me so happy. But in the workplace, in a school setting, I love being with people. Um, at the end of the day, when I come home, I'm so happy to be alone. But during the day, I'm so happy to be with people. So it's like, that balance is really nice for me because I know that this field of work is very, you know, personal. You get to talk to people, um, you get to learn their stories or lives, and they get to learn a little bit of you. So I think that's cool that I can, you know, know that I love being alone, but I also can enjoy being in the workplace with people. And I think my past jobs really helped me with that. Uh, I worked in retail for a few months last summer and then I worked as a tutor at my community college. So both of those jobs you are talking to complete strangers um, all day long and it's not it's very unpredictable and you know cosmetology the whole industry is very unpredictable you know you don't know who's going to be sitting in your chair next you don't know what their past is and then you know you're just kind of pushed into this i don't know this it's not really a friendship i would say but this time of getting to know someone that's a complete stranger to you so it'll be really cool to start this next phase. I know I still have quite a few weeks until next phase, but I'm kind of already thinking ahead. Um, so yeah, that is my update. And I don't think I forgot anything. I'm just looking at this mess around me and I'm, I'm excited to know reorganize and I have to label a few things too so that is what I will be doing but I will see you all in my next video and like this video and subscribe if you haven't so thank you guys for watching and I will see you later bye